So one of the current topics that many people are interested in is the actual spectrum that wireless microphones use. It's maybe not that understood by many people. A lot of people, especially um, videographers or photogs or whatever, turn on their cameras and if they have a wireless system, they kind of turn it on and just hope that it works because it worked last week or yesterday or whatever. Truth is that every time you go out, whenever you go out and wherever you go out, you should set your receiver to scan for the quietest available channel or frequency at that place and at that time. And then you set your receiver and your transmitter both to operate on that frequency. And you're much more likely to have a clean transmission. The current challenge is that the cell phone industry sells so many cell phones these days that they are looking for more usable spectrum. And they are very desirous, uh, is it desirous? Yes, of, of the frequencies that a lot of wireless microphones use. And believe me, the cell phone um, industry is a very powerful industry. And they're willing to pay a lot of money to that. Now, wireless microphones, generally speaking, use unused TV channel space, sometimes referred to as white channel, white spaces in a given TV market. In a given city or space, every TV channel from UHF 14 all the way up through UHF 51 is not occupied by a TV channel. There may be some channels that are occupied by a TV station. Those non used channels, non-occupied channels, are available for use with wireless microphones. The cell phone industry has said, we would love some of that spectrum that's higher up in the unused UHF TV spectrum, specifically in the six mega, 600 megahertz band. It's great spectrum because, don't forget, when you watch TV inside of your house and you tune in a UHF TV channel, you may just have an antenna on your TV, but it can pick up that TV station because the TV station signals can go through walls and foliage and trees, but they can reach inside. Well, cell phones want that same capability. Cell phones want your cell phone companies want your cell phones to also operate indoors as well as outdoors. It wouldn't be very good if you could only rely on your cell phone if you were outside. So this is really great uh, spectrum because of the antenna size that's required and being able to go through walls and all those kind of things. So TV stations that are in those upper frequency bands are now getting many more viewers watching maybe their signals over cable or over the internet and there are fewer and fewer antenna TV viewers um, every day sometimes. And so the cell phone companies want the spectrum that those TV stations have and the FCC is in the middle saying, hey, you guys want to buy, you guys maybe you're willing to sell, we'll make a deal between the two of you, and you'll make some money, you'll get some spectrum, and the government can have a little bit of profit in the middle to help things move along. Well, wireless microphones lose some spectrum. This whole spectrum auction, without going into massive detail here, is something that you can investigate online, but it does seem somewhat clear that those upper UHF TV channels, generally in the 600 megahertz range, are likely to go away within some future time period, could be as long as 39 months after the auction, spectrum auction is over, but in some cases it might be sooner. So think about if you are buying new wireless gear, what spectrum you want it to occupy. You may want it to be used in the range on the lower frequency ranges, maybe from UHF TV channel 14. In the case of our Sony wireless, it's 14 up through UHF TV channel 25. That's a 72 megahertz bandwidth, and we can tune in up to 2,772 different frequencies. You're going to find frequencies to use. And we also make a different block and a higher block. I am generally recommending to new purchasers to look at these lower um, white space channels in the 14 to 25 block. 30 to 41 might also be good, but depending on the success of the spectrum auction, how much gets sold off by the TV stations, 
how much gets purchased by the cell phone companies and other interested parties. Um, um, the TV stations that are currently up in those higher frequencies, when they sell off their frequency, <coughs> they are going to get moved and repacked so they can still have over-the-air broadcast, and they will get moved down into the lower frequencies. So it will become more crowded. And the point is, is that there is likely to be um, a dedicated UHF TV channel in every market that is dedicated to wireless microphone use. So even though it will be more crowded, um, it should be okay. Um, anyway. The auction is just in the middle of being done. So um, I would say, you know, look online about FCC Spectrum Auction and study it up if you'd like. But the auction is not complete. We don't know how much the, the buyers are willing to buy. We don't know how much the sellers are willing to sell. And it's bouncing back and forth as any negotiation many times happens. So it's not done. It's only after the deals are finally made that the repacking plan will be done and announced. And then we'll have a better idea of the landscape. And as a manufacturer, we'll know what to offer um, in the way of access and spectrum in our wireless products. Uh, but right, right now, what uh, variations do you offer? We offer three frequency blocks. They're very wide. Um, we cover a block called 14, which is really UHF TV channel 14 up through UHF TV channel 25. Each TV channel over the air broadcast occupies six megahertz of spectrum. Within one six megahertz TV channel, you don't need all of that spectrum for one wireless microphone channel. You can fit many wireless microphone channels in a given TV channel space. And it depends on the spacing that you allow between adjacent wireless microphone channels. We also, and that's between 14 and 25 is 72 megahertz of bandwidth, or 12 UHF TV channels. It's very, very wide. What are the other ones? We offer a 30 block. 30 goes between UHF 30 and 41. And intentionally, 37 is not allowed to be accessed because it is reserved for radio astronomy in, on an international basis. Then we also offer a 42 block, which is 42 through 51. However, as we've said, even though that's 60 megahertz of bandwidth and a lot of channels, that spectrum may eventually go away as a result of the FCC spectrum auction. So in today's world, if you already own existing 42 to 51 equipment and you're looking to add more compatible channels into that system, go ahead and buy 42 to 51 or anyway, still buy them. But um, if you're buying new, you might consider what could happen as a result of a spectrum auction repack.